Hello guys, uh, today we look at some points to bear in mind in order to get an excellent mark in the writing section since testers will assess your writing based on the following criteria which can fit both intermediate and advanced levels so please if you are one of these you just stick around the first category is task achievement this means did you answer the question I have marked a uh, lot of writings and they noticed that students do not answer the question they read the question and they start talking about something that is completely different they digress they move off the topic and the result is low mark so please as you are writing your essay uh, constantly go back to the question and just ask yourself am I answering the question so it's not about what you are interested in it's not about what you know it's about answering the question fully and directly it sounds really impressive if every sentence is relevant and no word is wasted some students try to fill the essay up with unnecessary words so don't put words that have no real input that have no impact because uh, in your writing the power of the word is is really important you can get your essay to a higher level by following this lexical re resource lexical resource simply means uh, good vocabulary so you have to use formal language where necessary and informal language where it's allowed to do so it's patently obvious that if you got some adjectives, ver adverbs, nouns, verbs, collocations memorized and you put some, of, some in your essay it will improve your mark for lexical re resource uh, also try to be careful with spelling uh, don't make too many mistakes because it will bring your mark down if you are writing about environment uh, you will need a lot of environment words if you are writing about business you will need business words which means that you need to read uh, books with different themes and contents so the vocabulary should be appropriate with the topic another two important notions are coherence and cohesion uh, coherence has to do with the organization and clarification and the connection of ideas uh, it's how you uh, write the topic sentence how you develop it and support it with arguments how you conclude your essay uh, on the other hand cohesion uh, is attained and uh, achieved by using cohesive devices like linking words conjunctions uh, subordinating conjunctions, uh, correlative conjunctions, adverbial conjunctions, references like pronouns, collocations I mentioned earlier and uh, also examiners like to see concrete examples uh, this very often means examples from your own life to back up your argument um, another feature is grammatical range and accuracy accuracy simply means correct grammar okay accuracy means correct grammar it's always good to write without uh, making a lot of grammatical mistakes so try to keep them to a minimum uh, you have to become more aware that using a range of different sentences pays dividends so try to use uh, compound and complex sentences uh, compound means two independent clauses complex means uh, one dependent and one independent clauses try to use passives with its different forms and different sentences use relative pronouns uh, to connect between your clauses try to use the gerunds and infinitives that you have studied 
uh, before. So I know this is quite challenging, but it's really worth it. Uh, so if you obey all of these rules, uh, I believe, as you do, that you will enhance the ability of your writing to be successfully understood and therefore to score a higher mark. So uh, I hope that you find this quite useful. Thank you for watching and see you all soon.